Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. How you're going? Oh, life's been so busy this year, the first quarter of 2023. Um, it's hard to get on here and do anything. I just, oh, life has just been busy, busy, busy. I've been out shopping, whoopsies. Um, I ordered a few things online, which is this haul, and I've got another couple of small hauls that I was out Easter shopping for my daughter, and things just jumped in my cart for me. Oopsies. Um, so this haul is from Kmart. They had some cool new stuff and I like trying out new cool stuff. Um, so I got these stamps quite a while ago actually, but I did look. They was, they're still in stock at the stores. These were $7.50 a set, which I thought, I thought they were on clearance when I bought them. So it said a clearance sticker. I picked these up in store. But when I looked on it, it said $7.50 normal price. So I don't know. Um, so they're wood mounted stamps. Can't see. So they're wood mounted stamps like rubber stamps on the back. So I don't have any this size, and I thought they'd be fun to use on my art journal pages. I don't like the ink pads. I'll pass those on to someone else because I'll use my really good ink pads. So i got uppercase and lowercase, and I thought they would be fun to use. I um, don't know how I'm going to store them. That's a problem for another day, hey? Let me just put this box. Hopefully it's out of shot. So I can pop these in the box, and I can get them off my desk and actually do something. So I'm sure this will go up after Easter, but I hope everyone had a beautiful Easter break. I had a very busy Easter break, and I'm feeling a bit sore and sorry, so sore and sorry for myself because I did lots of walking, and my muscles are sore. It's like I've been at the gym, <laughs> but that's all right. My muscles will get better in the next few days. Then I saw some of these clay stamps. Um, so I don't use them for clay. I thought I'd use them for art journaling. They're just like rubber. Um, so obviously I'll have to like double side tape them to a block or just use them with my hand so it's like a little fern leaf um i hope to hide these from alexis she might steal them for a polymer clay they're only five dollars so i might even go get alexis a set we'll see if she sees them and these were clay rollers again for paper clay i've got some of these before and they were wood which wood and paint doesn't really go nicely together but these look like plastic or resin so this one has sort of a rainbow on it and some stripes these were five dollars each too and flowers and like a leafy pattern. And I'll apologise about the lighting. It is late in the evening here. And we don't have a, not, a lot of natural lighting. Then they had some new pens and stuff, which excites me because a few of my pens had to go in the um, pen graveyard the other day because I just sort of used them all up. Doing a lot more pen work and a lot more Zentangle and a lot more that sort of stuff. So I'm um, going through the pens and paint markers. But I found these too, just before I get to pens. These are poster paint sticks. These were scribbled some notes beside me just trying to read my handwriting five dollars fifty a pack so i haven't even opened these yet these have been sitting on my desk for a couple of weeks now but they are all still current with kmart i did order these online because i just don't get up to kmart even though it's like two kilometers away from my house i don't get up to kmart all that often to shop in person um and i get free postage from them oh i thought these would be wrapped i thought they were just paint sticks these look like oh it's gonna be interesting hello sesame take the lid off oh they're twisty i thought they were hang on okay they're child proof they're adult proof is that just ah they just sort of pop off slide off i was trying to twist it these look like they look like a lipstick so this is obviously the pastel version then we've got like the What's this one? Metallic version. So metallic version looks really cool. These are <coughs> suitable painting on paper canvas wood. And I believe they're water. Water doesn't say if they're water like reactive. But usually kids stuff is. Well, this is sort of in the sort of kids sort of adult section. So we've got pink, green, peach, yellow, baby pink. I'll hopefully be able to test some of these out soon. But they look like Oh, they're nice and creamy. I don't have any water here. Oh, they're smudged. They look like gelatos or like um, that sort of thing. So they will be fun to use. I will just have to um, remember that they're not a screw cap. They sort of got the ridges on it look like a screw cap, but they just come off. So they're cool colours. Let me open these colours and have a look. So hopefully I'll take time to do experiment with these in a video because I love doing that because I love seeing that, but I don't see a lot of it with the stuff we get here access here in Australia so this is Kmart in Australia so if you're in America not sure even though this Anco 
brand is, I believe, an American brand you can get over there, but I don't know whether you can still get it. These ones are a lot more rich colour and have gold and silver in it. So they'll be fun to play with. It'll be interesting to do these with water. So they just sort of um, twist up. So hopefully I can make some time to play with these. I'm hoping the second quarter of this year is not so darn busy. <laughs> busy with work, busy with family, just darn busy lately. Then these were cool. These are jewel-ended erasable markers. These remind me of what I had as a kid. These were $5. So I remember having colour-changing markers as a kid or one that would erase it, I think. I don't know. Um, so draw with the chisel tip and create your design with the erasable end. So I must have a chemical reaction and do this sort of stuff. So I thought that would be fun to play with because... Who for five bucks who loves to play with some. Then these are really cool. Um, I do a lot of Zentangle and a lot of doodling and stuff to calm my brain down when it's just in overload, which is lately. And when I get stressed, it always helps. So that's not the one I was looking for. Seriously can't read my handwriting off to the side, off to here. <laughs> um, so this one, the normal colours, um, dual ended dot markers. So they um, obviously do dot designs. Oh, God. Where's my brain today? Um, so I've got a fine tip and a thick tip. So the non-metallic ones were seven dollars for the pack for twelve. It's pretty cool. And the metallic ones were nine dollars. So it'd be interesting to see what these look like on black. So I can't wait to try those out. Then they had some new paint pens. Now I go through paint pens like there's nothing, like there's no tomorrow. Especially black and white ones. And I usually buy Posca ones, and they're like four to six dollars a piece. Especially these thicker ones. I think they're like more around six or seven dollars. Um, for for uh, sort of this size I've got a black one in here this is all my open pens I'm trying to oh no that one's a smaller one I mustn't have an open black one I've been doing a lot of stuff for classes and I have been using a lot of my black and white pens um, so this size with like a two millimeter tip or two and a half millimeter tip is about six bucks with office works and I go through them quite readily so I when they when Kmart had these, I thought I'd give them a try. Can't get the words out today. I got some bright colours from them oh, quite a while ago, 12, 18 months ago. But the pastel version looks really cool. I want it, don't, I don't have a lot of coloured paint markers. So I want to build my stash, but at six bucks a pen, they're expensive. So these ones are seven dollars for the pack of six black and white markers. Be interesting to see if the white's white. And nine dollars for the pack of eight pastel markers so just over a dollar a piece um so the other colored ones i got which are not available anymore but they are i don't even know whether i can put my hand on them no i can't um they were more bright colors but these would be interesting to see if they are opaque to start with and good on magazines so i might do a magazine art journal page and then come on and do some doodling on it so that will be fun so that was my little haul from Kmart. So as I said, this is Kmart here in Australia and all these are still available on their website. In store, I saw very little in my own store, my local store. Um, so you may have to order online. And if you do want to order online, I'm not affiliated with Kmart. I paid for, out of these out of all my own pocket money. Um, my pocket money. My money. Um, and the reason I don't mind ordering off Kmart is I pay, I think it's like $4 a month, which is a, such a small amount, and I get free postage, and you can order something for $2 and get it posted. It's a bit ridiculous, but it is what it is. You get free postage on Kmart, I think Target in Australia, Catch on most of the things, catch.com, which I originally paid for the service and they've expanded it, and there's something else, but I can't remember who. Um, so... If you can't find these in your local store, even sign up for the month, pay the $4. And I think there's even a 30-day free trial or something. Or there was when I signed up years and years ago. Um, even if I just order once in in a month, the $4 is worth it because otherwise the postage is $14. Um, so if they're not available in your store, you can order them online. But hoping to come on and do some videos with these. Just that thing called time eludes me lately. And family comes first, unfortunately. My work comes second because that makes money to pay for my craft stuff. And unfortunately, this channel comes third. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. But hopefully life will settle down soon. Um, and I'll have a bit more me time. Yeah. Um, that's what they all say. So yes, look out for some videos. 
trying out these I might group them together and obviously try out similar with similar and can't wait to have a play I love playing with new supplies and I love playing with affordable supplies so if these work just as well as this one I'll actually go buy a few more packets of these while Kmart have them that's the only downside with Kmart they seem to have something for a limited period of time and then they'll discontinue it and have something else so if you like it like the black and white ones and I didn't see any of these in my store if I like them I might grab a few more packets or even the pastel ones we'll see um, they're probably the ones I'd go through most these paint sticks I've probably got similar stuff too they're similar to gelatos by the looks of it or that sort of or distress crayons that sort of thing interesting if they're water soluble these I probably wouldn't go through more than one packet and the raceable ones are just fun to try out definitely the paint markers because these I go through a lot of because it calms my brain down when I zentangle and doodle and do all that sort of stuff anyway that's all for this haul I've got a couple more small hauls coming up um, not buying much at the moment because sort of not crafting a lot for me so I'm trying to be good and use what I have but these come out and I decided I will treat myself and have a play with some new stuff why not and some affordable stuff um, so I will catch up with you later hope everyone had a wonderful Easter and I'll see you again soon bye for now